Next, double click on Mesh and it will open up the meshing window. And once uh, the meshing window has imported the geometry features, right click on Model and insert Virtual Topology. Virtual Topology is a feature you can use to stick surfaces on the geometry together and make it easier for the program to recognize the geometry. And thus, it would help with the meshing. So because of this complex structure, we cannot create a whole virtual cell because there are some surfaces where the curvature change is too rapid and those surfaces cannot be merged into one single cell. So here, I will break the whole geometry into several parts and please do as I have done because I have tried these geometries and they will merge together. So hold down your left mouse button and sweep through these surfaces. If you want to flip it around, hold down your center mouse button. Then click the control key and then sweep through the rest of these surfaces as shown. Double check that you have all these surfaces selected and make sure you do not select this inlet. Then right click on the highlighted regions and then insert virtual cell. Now we see that this part has been formed and now we could move on to the next part. Next, please choose these surfaces as shown. Remember to hold down your control key to select multiple surfaces. This is a time consuming process, but it makes it much easier for the program to calculate the mesh. Now right click and insert virtual cell. Next, create another virtual cell for the larger branch. Repeat the steps we have done previously. Right click and insert virtual cell. Do the same thing for this little branch here. And create a fourth virtual cell. Right click, insert virtual cell. Make sure that you do not have these two outlets and this inlet selected. 